see those bugs are about. I didn't get one wink of sleep. <laughs> Overnight sleep in the woods, in the wilderness complete. Next port of call is of course water. And we all need a shower because we're sticky and dirty as hell. After a very minor successful night in the forest. Too many mosquitoes, man. Too many mosquitoes. We're at the sea. I'm gonna get a nice refreshing dip. Seriously, I'm trying to vlog. New day, new location. We are in Norwich at the University of East Anglia. Fresh spot, fresh day. Brutalist architecture. This, this university's got some lovely beauty. Lovely, beautiful, brutalist architecture. We like that a lot. It'll be interesting to see how we'll do with no sleep, minimal food, minimal coffee, but we'll, we'll find out. Yeah. Take yourself, store army. Yeah, Don't be like stupid. <laughs> Always protect your nose because your nose burns the easiest. Found this place searching for brutalist architecture. When we were asking for recommendations for this tour, a load of people said Norwich. Finally, today we're here. We're not quite at the place we saw in the photo yet, but already there's parkour showing itself. First impression, cat pass pre. Woof, look at this, piece of lease. Got some nice concrete over here. This looks like a very fun area, just a massive playground. Constant levels down there. This is that photo, right here. You always get that at universities, don't you? They put a bit more effort into like how they make all the walls. Uh -huh. Build to inspire. Tell you what. Yeah, it's so inspire learning. Bloody unbelievable. Just the angles of this lovely concrete. Oh, it's grippy as well. Come on, it's grippy. They've just stopped making everything in pure, lovely concrete now. Every new build tends to be made from like stuff that's really weak. Do you realise? Yeah, yeah, I have realised. They don't build it like that anymore. They don't make them like that anymore, do they? So it brings us back to the question, is there a heyday of parkour architecture? Are we exiting the heyday? If they're getting rid of these like lovely brutalist estates all around London and France and all of these kind of things where parkour kind of like grew from, or that inspires parkour so It inspires much. parkour yeah, so yeah. much. To everyone else, it's so disgusting. To us, we see yeah, the yeah. shapes, we see the patterns, Concrete the lines. Porn. This is That's PK really porn. porn. It's a PK porno. This could be a very, very fun day today. Jeez. Yeah, we should do a team level descent. Don't do drops when you're not warm. Reminder, it just hurts your knees. We're here, we've been for our morning swim, we've arrived at our location, next thing, warm up. Have you had some injuries or something? Oh man, we've been grimbled. Not a good sign, this early on in the day. Oh, bollocks. Uh, C-A-L-L-U-M. Powell. Cowell. Powell. So, Powell. Yeah, Callum, Callum Powell. Nice one. See you not having great luck on this trip. Same thing that happened in Ipswich. It's happening in Norwich. It's the main location we wanted to come to. We get kicked off. That is so painful. Especially as they were so nice. Ah, we should get that drone shot. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. God damn. God damn, how real is this? Getting kicked off spots, left, right and centre. This is a really nice area. Why is security in, even when the kids are not? Because there's still a lot of equipment to be What's the plan now then, boys? Just round the corner, hiding from security in this kind of heavy tree location. Uh, look at that! Whoa, that is an interesting looking descent if I ever have seen one. I've never tried one of these before. One like that. They look good though, they look fun. I guess uh, it's time to have a look. Brutalism at its finest here. Yeah, there's not a lot of space. It's funny little shelves just sticking out the side of the wall. Benji's going next level up already. He's a crazy, crazy cat. Doing sketchy descents for breakfast. We haven't actually had breakfast. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go like that. I feel like that's the safe way of doing it. If you land and try and put your hands where your feet are, I think there's a big possibility you're gonna headbutt the wall. So yeah, yeah. To land and then put your hands to the side and sort of the space goes sideways then down rather than like into the wall. Yeah, that makes sense. Side shuffles. Side hustle. Nice. So now it's just copy and pasting it. It's very copy and paste. One level up. <laughs> so long as you're 100% you got it dialed. 
So it's a pretty intense descent because there's no real ground level prep, basically. Even the level that Benj was just doing, you're not taking that drop lightly. I guess just take this negative, like, quite calm. Yeah. So the dust might be different. Do it tight into the, tight into the left. That's it, isn't it? We're done for today. Right, sorry, mate. Next time that'll be a peace call, mate. Drop them and us. Alright, no worries. It's going to be decent, but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely understand. If uh, they get called again, they're going to call the police. So it just seems like wherever you go on this site, there's kind of people. Uh, probing you. Uni campuses are always great for training because it's just like huge pedestrian areas but they all have their own little security force so once you get kicked off one part you're done on the whole campus and I think that's what's happening here. And it's hard for us because our job is traveling around doing parkour on private property. It's gonna be hard to and make friends of security guards, isn't it? We don't want to waste like <laughs> the amount of time that it's taken to come here to film at these amazing locations. But yeah, sorry, heartbreak of that here. Didn't even get time to try the full descent. Sorry, Star Army. I did want to do it. I was a bit scared, so it's not a bad thing either. <laughs> That was it. Yeah, that goes. <laughs> How are you feeling, mate? I'm feeling very hot. I'm not feeling the spot. But it's not necessarily a bad spot. It's just gotta go. Sometimes you just, yeah, I know. You need something to inspire you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, just a slap. Right. Yeah. My hands were here, but my feet were here. Yeah. He's all right. Right. Yeah. If it was flat, it would be no problem. I could kick away just so my heart's content. Nicely done, yeah, nicely done. <laughs> I was planning to do a cast back off that, but I'm not a Swedish gym kid and can't do them on lock like everyone else can in the parkour community. <laughs> yes! This is the already kicked off, but gonna do a group wall run shot. Group wall run challenge. <laughs> this is gonna look so epic, it's so high. I don't even know if we'll make it. Hey Drew, if you go real close to that camera and I'll go the other side. Sure thing, bud. We're like a, a little army going into oh, war. Parkour war. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Nice. Triple windmill stick. That was a height drop line. I saw him just casually jogging it off. Yeah, jogging off two fat drops. Or you can go to the city and there's more sort of ascenti, descenti. Spot debates. Difficult for some tour guides a lot of the time. Given a bunch of people that just want epic spots each and every go. Trying their best to take us on the tour. It's a lot of pressure actually. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. He's doing a good job, Timmy. No skateboarding, no rollerblading, no inline skating, 
no cycling, no ball games, no parkour. No parkour, all right? Understand? Neither do I. <laughs> Answers on a postcard or in the comments. I mean, we are in the in the 21st century after all. No swearing in front of mine. <laughs> Ryan getting back to it. He's back on his old school home turf. Skirt, when's the last time you think you trained Ryan? Roof culture? Literally roof culture, yeah. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Give you a little check. Give you a little check. Backflip check. <laughs> it's probably why you're doing fine today then. Last time you were 40 stories in the air. Ryan's our camera operator and he's stuck on the other roof with that down below. He just needs some time to concentrate, clear his mind. Yes, Ryan. Nice. Yes! <sighs> nice one. We only have cameramen that can do parkour. You can't do parkour. You're useless to us. <laughs> You're useless. <laughs> useless. <laughs> You're useless. Yo. Breezy, mate. Nicely done. <laughs> Enjoyed the parts. <laughs> In a bit, mate. Chomped up a bit since <laughs> Roof Culture Asia. He's been on the old iron, hasn't he? He's been on the iron. Yeah! Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a, like a little tumble dryer down these like three walls. Gonna side flip onto that like electricity box and pass down. Done just already. like a spinny rung. Yeah, I just did it for the first time all in one. So I'll go for it one more time. Like, yeah. friggin' get this done. Sasha. Nice, man. Oh, cave is looking at some wham lamb as per usual. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. It's all right, you can go through it. I was stopping in. <laughs> Sorry. Jesus, that could have been catastrophic. All right, let's hit it. Yes! You're right, pal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Standards are high. <laughs> aye, aye, we're just wrapping up in Norwich. Just about to head back to the cars. Coming past the fruitful characters of Norwich. <laughs> there we go. The fruity characters of Norwich. Knew it was going to be great. Should we go hang out with them? Can we be friends? Can we be friends? Just hear bottles flying. <laughs> You know, one of the They've been there like all day as well. We were at that first spot. The same like din coming from that like general area as well. <laughs> so a rowdy lot. Like, the just... ambience. Like... <laughs> 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 
So do you remember that place at the beginning of the video we got kicked off of? We're back. All right, Story Army, we're back at the first location of the day. We want to get a kind of a group shot tumbling, cascading down the uh, university accommodation spot. Yeah. We're going to do that thing that we didn't get the chance to do, but it's going to be a bit of a smash and grab because obviously we don't want to annoy people. We don't want to wind people up. So we're just going to get in, do this shot quick, probably on drone and just go. <laughs> right? Pretty much it, yeah. Fingers crossed, kind of situation. <laughs> Fairly simple parkour, but impacty for the guys True. there. I'm tapping out, I think, my ankle. Oh, really? Might, yeah. Fucking brilliant. My ankle is not good. Yeah, I wish I, wish I could, but I don't have a valid excuse. Even though we can't fully train there, we want to try and at least show off the spot. We previously got kicked off at the start of the day, but we said come back at the end when uh, some of the security guards might have left. Hopefully no, sure. it'll be all right. Probably not. Um, <laughs> the final mission of the day, apart from finding a camping spot, is about to go down. We're actually coming through the back route, so hopefully we uh, sneak past security and they don't spot us. Because rolling in the front gates with that storage truck, as you guys call it, the Storaptor. It's a bit too bait, isn't it? It's a bit too bait. Even if there's security, it won't matter because we would have already done it. Oh! So we're hoping for a quick smash and grab and then we'll be satisfied, Norwich. We feel like we still have to come back. You'd think coronavirus times are the best possible times to come to a university to train, but... Apparently not. Apparently not. Maybe smaller numbers, but then you're not with the squad, would they? So we've almost finished our hike. In. The security cameras are about, so we might have already been seen, so it's kind of a case of just getting done before they get to us. There's fucking police there, you mad. Oh my god. If we come back in, they'll call the police. Surely that's not fair. We just look like any old bunch of young people on a uni campus, don't we? We do, I reckon. Pretty much. Pretty, pretty normal. What? Dino's on the ball. Archetype, a real Dino of Horsham, West Sussex. Crap. But yeah, I think we're going to head over to these ones because you get the light on the face of it. The Great Pyramids of East Anglia. Stole that from Callum just now. So it's like once we get into position, we see the right opportunity, just get up onto the roof. One bang it. So we were about literally about to climb up. We're sitting down right now because the security are over our shoulder, heading straight towards the others. Oh yeah, maybe it's not for them. Fingers crossed. These are the same guys that's kicked us off this morning. They're still here, still on shift. When we were here earlier, we were the odd ones out. Well, there's more people around because it's sunset they're chilling in the park and we look like uni students more oh, i don't know if we should go now uh, oh you mean go around yeah go around they've just not seen us <laughs> we look so fucking suspicious sorry like youtube grass, though. that was a great little move we literally just <laughs> boom, as soon as we saw them we got sasha and toby on drones so two drones come oh come on it's gotta be golden they're gonna yeah, get the true. sick shot it's just down to us whether we can actually we can do it we're just taking hits oh this is great yeah stairs use the stairs for your knees get the fluid in your joints rushing two numbers to seek Lee swag. Come on, Toby, pick up. We couldn't tell either, but they um they walked they walked a different way to you guys, so I think we might be in the clear and we're good to go if you guys are. Head onto the roof in 30 seconds. All right, 30 fixed. seconds when you hang up. Yeah, and we'll we'll give you the signal up top. You get nervous. I get nervous of this stuff, yeah, and I don't know why. Yeah, it's like a slight. Even though it's not like going to be particularly hard, it's just like you want to do it in one. Yeah. I think. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the team involvement that you have to get your shit right. It's the security. Nice. It's the tension of having a one bang. You have to do it right first time and we're not that warmed up and i guess in a situation like this it actually kind of aids you that like slight nervousness might actually be your friend that's 30 seconds, 30 all right seconds. cool that's yeah. let's hit it see you on the grass lad oh yeah he wants us going down this way whoever's on this try and stick close to that that line is, is anybody gonna, gonna go down the center no oh my god to the left Oh, you've got to make sure you go to the left. I'll go slightly after you as well. Okay, three, two,
hopefully they got the shot. Because that felt lovely, man. That was great. I was like, wow. Well, soft roof as well, and the feet lined up perfectly. It was lovely. Yeah. So good, yeah. We were doubting whether we could do it smooth, but that felt lovely. No, you move, it's me. I'm all right, I'm all right. I'm still, I'm still here. I'm still here, all right? <laughs> We got away with it. That was sick, guys. How did it look? Good, sick. It's very cool. Okay, nice. Very cool. Sick. Back jobs, man. Sick. Next mission, Toby, is to... What are we doing now? Oh, do you mean... Oh, okay. I'll restart. We're off to get some grub and find our second night's camping spot. Pray for no mosquitoes tonight. Because, oh my God, it 100% had an impact on our day of training. It was that bad. It was that bad. Night. Mosquitoes are small, but they have big impacts. Tops, Carol. Yeah, you know, yesterday's drone shot, amazing, amazing location. We slept on it. Yeah. Sleeping bag toss. Closest one to that lavender bush wins prize money of 50,000 pounds. <laughs> That's not bad, you know. That's not bad. That's a speculative oh, effort. You know. That's a speculative effort. Speculative. Look at that, it's rolled closer as well. Oh, oh mate, you Callum. fucking sling that. You're in the trenches. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I couldn't let go. <laughs> Oh, he's gone for the kick. Look where he's sleeping bag fly. Okay. Sasha, Even that's right. a nice late entry Sasha. from Sasha. Oh, bloody hell, we've got to measure that one out. Oh, pillow, <laughs> pillow in the air. Oh, robe, robe shout. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, he's in the lavender. Oh, oh, Fair oh, play, yeah. mate. Fair play. We've got the winner. <laughs> Thank you. That's one of my proudest achievements. <laughs> Good night's sleep, Callum. Yeah, so much better than last night. Anything can compared to last night. The yeah, breeze true. up here is so good as yeah, well. Yeah, so nice. I'm not looking forward to this. My ankle's not yet awake. <laughs> Headshot. Early morning missions, never good for the achy body. You woke up like 10 minutes ago and now you've got to do a little descent down the building. Okay, it's not too bad. Do you want to go a past off? Yeah. Yep. Solid. Looks like we got away with it. Sleeping on a uni rooftop. Is that a camera right there? <laughs> right on the top pins. Look at that. Nice save, mate. There's a fish. Oh, you work up five minutes here. Yeah? Got that shower, Jelsa. <laughs> Please zoom into that. Ah, <laughs> oh, let me just rinse my face. It's alright. It's alright. Looks refreshing. <laughs> Thank you for watching Story Shower Time. That was part two of our three part UK road trip. If you like what we do so much that you want to see more of it, then there is a join button that you can press and you get an extra video on Friday. I'd highly recommend that. We've been doing YouTube join for a year now, so you've got a year's worth, a backlog of Friday videos to go and watch. Next week, the third and final instalment of this UK road trip is going to be us in Coventry, so you better subscribe if you want to see that now. The end. <laughs> oh, it's still going. <laughs> <laughs>